Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode eight of season ten of this save with Riga FC. I'm the Custer Prophet. This is the Latvian job, and unfortunately, it's gone a little bit rubbish at the end of this season. A uh, little bit disappointed with everything. Yep, it's a little bit of a disappointing end to the season. Um, board is still very, very happy, as you can see, but our European campaign has just been appalling we have been absolutely terrible let's have a look how things have gone so you can see in the league we have continued to win that and we have our 100% record in the league fantastic we won third season on the trot we have won every game in the league um, let's go through that so after the, uh, the Shakhtar game we won 4-1 uh, against Valmiria it's our toughest game left I guess uh, Misu Tariq Centre back and Erglis away against Meta 3 0. Uh, Krollis, Daff, and Stankers. Lipaya home, they beat them 3 0. Ulderikis, Krollis, and Daff. And then finally away against Alda 5 1 victory. Lisinovs with a couple, Krollis with a couple, and Stankers. All very, very comfortable. In the cup final, it was a little bit closer. Now, the purists might say, well, hasn't your 100% record ended? Uh, I don't think so. Spartax did go 1-0 up and we then scored very soon after that. They then went 2-1 up with their only two shots in the game. We won't go on about that. And then we had Oslin sent off. And I thought, ah, we'd be in trouble. But Ilyev uh, scored a penalty and uh, in injury time, and we were the dominant side, even though we were down to 10 men, Vieira scored a wonderful free kick, uh, which gave us our I think maybe fourth or fifth uh, cup on the trot so that was good but I'm, I'm deflecting I know you, you know I'm deflecting I'm avoiding looking at this game against Shakhtar because this was utterly disappointing it wasn't just that we lost 2-0 it's that we deserve to lose 2-0 we played terribly it was a really poor performance didn't really create an awful lot whereas I felt we created a fair amount in this game and didn't get what we deserved we just didn't create anything in this game um, and although they didn't create much, they were better in front of the goal than we were. So, yeah, what can you say? We were just not very good. Followed that up with a 3-1 loss against um, Paris Saint-Germain. I thought for an instant we might be getting something out of this. Aldrichis scored a goal after they got an early penalty. And I thought, whoa, this is interesting. We're going deep into the second half and then Kai Havertz, the little, the little scamp, scored a couple of goals, a header. I don't think he was that tall. Uh, and then um, he just, you know, found some space and scored a wonder goal, the sort of thing he does. So we're basically out of Europe, uh, but we have one game left against Arsenal. That is what we're going to play today. Oh, I'm just, uh, you know, a little bit disappointed. Um, I felt there was more in this for us. Right, so we're coming here home against Arsenal we've ne never beaten them played them three times all losses uh, and uh, this is the team that's coming out we've got no Krollis he's out injured so we're going to start with Popovich, Aldrichis and Misu maybe there's better better than that but I, I feel Aldrichis does give us a little bit of hope but Lysinovs is on the bench in case Aldrichis has a bad game uh, we're also making, missing Franco so we're playing Iliev, Vieira and Almeida as our midfield three and the back line is uh, Bajekic, Stoichkovic the centre back, Mendia and Yauzams, uh, Yohari in goal so let's see what we can do I'm as I say, disappointed with the way this season has ended. Yeah, it, it just fizzled out horribly in Europe. After the last couple of years of giving some of the big, big teams games, this season, okay, we drew against PSG, but that's it. That's all we've done, and uh, I want more, basically. I want more. Shakhtar, we should have been taking at least a point against Shakhtar, at least a point. Here we go. We are starting. It's going to be a tough one. Arsenal are going to be going for this. They need to get a result. Shakhtar, PSG have done well in the group. Uh, but are we going to spring a surprise? We know we're capable. That's the thing. We absolutely are capable. Mendia taking a bit of a risk at the back. Yao Zems. That's not Yao Zems. The goalkeeper pumps it along, but 
Aldericus doesn't get his foot to it. Saka in behind. Can he find a pass? Well defended. Singo. And uh, header straight into Yari's hands. Not really too much of a, a problem there, but need to need Aldericus to get on this. Almeida. Lovely ball through. It's Misu. Just missed that shot and oh, so uh, Misa, we've had a lot of those where I feel maybe with better strikers we would have scored. Uh, but at least we're creating, creating the chances. Looks like Spironi has been fouled. They've got a free kick. Dangerous position. Oh, who was marking Hughes there? He was just standing there. Oh my, come on. Nice tackle there. The ball went straight through. We didn't see the early part of that highlight, but we did well to, to keep him out. I'm slightly concerned about a penalty here. It's got that sort of hallmark. Castro, presumably not Fidel. Singo. Oh, what, what was that? Ruben Neves. And we are sinking without a trace in this group. Absolute dreadful defending. Not having many shots, not creating chances. Yeah. Oh, it's bad times. Don't know what to do about this. This is unexpected. Started well, really good chance, but not created a single chance after that. So fiddled with a, a couple of the roles, uh, put Vieira on a supporting role or a defensive role. He's quite good with passing, so maybe that will help. Also swap Misu and Popovic around. I thought we'd put mentality on positive. I'm pretty sure I did that. Right, let's see how this little tweaks were. Yeah, shooting's not been great. We, I think we probably shoot on sight as well. We're not creating anything. Iliev into Misu. Come on, let's get a goal. Popovic. Oh, hit the bloody bar. Post. Oh, too many times it is. Too many times. Corner. Vieira. Aldrich is over the top, man. Oh, it was offside. Somebody, somebody was offside. Better start to this half, though. Not sure what we're missing compared to what we've had previously. We haven't got a Chiardio character, but I'd let me know in the comments. What are we missing? Why are we not the side that we were last season? Because I feel there's not much in it. We're going to take Bjekic off. Messina's coming on. Decent attacking left back. Aldrichis is coming off. Lisinovs is coming on. Maybe a little bit extra there. But yeah, another opportunity. Vieira, ball in. Lisinovs scores. 2-1. There we go. Gah, back on the score sheet. Comes on in the back of the net. Vieira, who's, who's come in um, for Franco, gets the goal there. So that's pleasing. Iliev is looking tired. I reckon make this change. Yes, assistant will do it. Bringing that guy on. <laughs> A draft. Much better second half. I'm gonna go attacking. Screw it, doesn't matter. I want I want I want to draw this. I want to ruin Arsenal's party. <laughs> right. Donato chicks it up the uh, the pitch, but I was gonna say nobody's there, but they are there. Saka and again through the defence. And it's a wondrous lob. That was truly wonderful, and he managed to hit the post. But I think Shakhtar are losing anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Just give us a give us a shot. Oh, and after that second half performance, I'm look at that. So much better, so much of a better performance. But how you are not scoring with chances of those of that quality, I don't know. And I think that's the problem. We're just not good enough in front of the goal. And is that because most of the time we play against much weaker opposition? Is that the problem? I don't know. I don't know, Shakhtar probably have a similar... No, they don't. <laughs> they don't. I'm trying to think, no, Shakhtar won't. They've got a decent league. So maybe that is a problem. Oh, it's just disappointing, isn't it? A disappointing one point out of that group. I went into it thinking, oh, it's tricky. 
but we'll get something out of this. So that's it, end of season. What do we need to do to this team? Where, where is it that we need to make a change? I like the tactic, I think the tactic works well. It's attacking, it creates chances, and it, it seems to work against pretty much anyone we put it up against. So I'm not really looking to change the tactic, but it, where is the problem here? we go on to squad depth maybe this will give us a what we've got here so we've got the likes of Krolis, Popovic, Misu, if we've got a lot of strikers the problem is they don't all score, score goals. Krolis we have to keep him because he's Latvian. Erglis likewise. The question is these two whilst they're rated as good players what do we do we sell them and try and bring somebody else in? In midfield, again, it's strong. It is strong. Almeida, I, I'm liking. Sorry about that. Um, I like the left left back. I like that. Diego can play in there as well. We've got good strength all over the pitch. I'm pleased with it. And that's, that's including our Latvians. So do we just look to make a couple of upgrades? and see see how we go or do we try do we make some like severe changes i don't know i really don't know the answer to this because i don't like what's just happened we've we've had a really bad group stage there really really bad and that's not what we've had in the last couple of years we we've, we've, we've gone toe to toe with the big guys and we just haven't really done that this time anyway folks let me know in the comments what you think about that what you think i should be doing and how I can make this better. Uh, if you are enjoying the series, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, uh, and I'll see you very shortly for another episode. Thank you very much, and goodbye.